You're watching Toonami TV. Welcome to the channel. Newcastle United have made a signing on transfer deadline day, and that is the signing of 21 year old Rodrigo Vilga from Peruvian top flight side Deportivo Municipal. He will be joining as part of the under 23 setup rather than the first team. He comes at a very young age, he's only 21, and I'm sure the club have looked at this guy as a potential upgrade on the current under 23 players that we have. A lad who could potentially get into the first team setup in the next season or two, depending on who the manager is. We've had a Peruvian player for Newcastle United before in the past, and that was Norberto Solano, who broke into the first team, you know, put on that black and white shirt, played in front of 52,000 fans, and scored goals and had a good career in England. Now, before Rodrigo Vilga made the move to Newcastle United for this new up and coming season, I'm sure that Norberto Solano would have had a word in his ear in terms of what to expect you know, when you play for Newcastle United. The city, the club itself, you know, playing in front of 52,000 fans on a match-by-match -match basis, the away following that we've got, we've got the best in terms of your know, support in England, if not the world. The facilities at Newcastle in terms of how good they are compared to the Peruvian League, I say they're okay, but he's going to be training with you know, better facilities and he's also going to be working with better players in the under-23 setup. You know, England is good for football. It's the best in terms of quality, and that's what he's going to have. You know, under-23 level, he's going to be learning in terms of how fast the game is, how much he's got to, you know, put in tackles. He's got to get forward. He's got to score goals, and he'll learn that at his time at Newcastle in terms of trying to get into that first team bracket. And I'm sure he will do that. It's just going to take the lad a bit of time, and I'm sure that Norbert Oslano would have said those exact words and just to say, give it your all. And if you do so, the Newcastle United fans will welcome you with open arms. Now, this is what Vilka has told NUFC TV this evening on making the move. I'll put the words on screen for you. At the beginning, I could not believe the opportunity to jump directly from Peru to a Premier League club. The process had a lot of phases with all of this disaster. So it's has been a roller coaster of emotions. I have cried with emotion, not once, but several times because there have been different milestones at times. I have been tense, but now I am very happy and I hope to have a long and successful time in Newcastle. It seems a very nice city. The hotel has a very nice view of the Thailand Millennium Bridges. and I hope to train as soon as possible now. I don't want to lose time. I want to be ready now. He says the right things. You know, he wants to be ready. He wants to hit the ground running. And that's what we expect You know, as a club, as a fan base, that players really do give their all for the shirt, especially at under-23 level. It's very difficult to get into the first team and many under-23s don't make it. Many of those players end up getting drafted out on loan or they fall down the pecking order and end up either not playing football at all or they end up going to a club further down the pyramid and that's not what he wants to do. He wants to get into you know, that first team and he said a few things about the culture. You know, he's been around the quayside so he knows you know a bit about the city already but I'm sure he will explore a bit more as he's playing for Newcastle and you know I do wish the lad all the very best because he comes in with a very good attitude and with that ability of potentially you know getting into uh, that first team. Now Chris Hogg, the under 23 manager this is what he has had to say this evening on NUFC TV. We're delighted to have Rodrigo here. He's an exciting attacking player and we'll be hoping to see the attacking ability. We'll be looking to give him the opportunity to improve with us and be a part of Newcastle United's future. So he's going to work with him. He's going to try and you know, get him to where he needs to be and get him into you know, the, the first team picture. And I'm sure he'll make it. He's just got to stay patient. And if he does that, then he will do it. But what I will say to Rodrigo Vilga, welcome to the club. I hope, fingers crossed, it's successful. You can be the next Dalberto Solano and you've come to a very good football club with the best fans in the world. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'll be back with plenty more content to come over the course of the international break. FIFA content as well is coming very, very soon, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Hey, hey, hey,